Hi, I'm Crystal, and I would like to start off by asking you a few questions. First of all, how safe do you feel as far as your personal privacy is concerned? Now, while you're thinking about that, I would like to inform you that Big Brother is watching, and it does not stop there. Big Brother is also listening, reading, and even honing algorithms that will predict what you will buy and click on next based on your tracked and documented purchasing and communications history. People are really starting to take notice of these issues and are becoming more aware of this gross invasion of privacy. Less than 50% of Americans actually trust the government. Many say that number is much lower, even as low as 15%, depending on the polled population. Now, I'm curious, what do all of you know about the Fourth Amendment? Do you believe that we are still being protected by the Fourth Amendment, or do you believe that our Fourth Amendment is being violated? I'm going to tell you what that is just to refresh your memory on it. The Fourth Amendment reads, The right of the people to be secure in their persons, houses, papers, and effects against unreasonable searches and seizures shall not be violated, and no warrants shall issue, but upon probable cause, supported by oath or affirmation, and particularly describing the place to be searched and the persons or items to be seized. Now, in this presentation, I would like to enlighten you a little on the recent changes and government actions regarding our privacy, or lack thereof, as American citizens. Many programs have already been set into motion, and many privacies are subtly being stripped away from us. How many Americans are even aware of this? And how much more spying can we expect to see in the future? Now you may be wondering, in what ways are we under surveillance? Well, there are many ways. First, we have the Internet, which includes social networking, emails, search engines, purchases, cell phone, uh, well, purchases and Skyping, and then we also have cell phones. Um, I'll elaborate on that a little bit more, but uh, this brings me to the NIP. The NIP, or the National Intelligence Program, is also referred to the IC, or the Intelligence Community. Um, they fund activities for 16 federal departments. And while it's unclear about whether or not all 16 agencies spy on citizens, it is known that at the very least, the, the at least seven do, and I'm going to tell you what those ones are. So we have the Department of Home, Homeland Security, the DIA, the CIA, the DEA, the FBI, NRO, the NSA, which is the National Security Agency, and the National Security Agency is the one that's been causing quite an uproar very recently by spying on American citizens. Um, the infiltration is particularly alarming because the NSA, under a separate program known as PRISM, has front door access to Google and Yahoo users' accounts through a court-approved process. Under PRISM, the NSA gathers huge volumes of online communications records by legally compelling U.S. technologies companies to turn over any data that match court-approved search terms. PRISM was established in 2007. The NSA has been tracking the phone records and other personal records of millions of Americans. And every day, the NSA sends millions of records from internal networks to internal networks such as Google, Yahoo, Microsoft, Facebook, PalTalk, AOL, Skype, YouTube, Apple, and Dropbox to a data warehouse at the agency's headquarters. Cell phone companies are also involved, Verizon named in particular. Within a 30-day period in January of 2013, field, contractors ha field collectors had processed and sent back 101.3 million new records, including metadata, which would indicate who sent or received emails and when, as well as the content such as photos, text, audios, and video. Americans are voicing their outrage and disgust about these issues loud and clear, and the media coverage describing this has been everywhere. So what is causing the increase in surveillance? There are a number of factors. Technology is the first one. Cameras are everywhere. ATMs, gas stations, stores, street lights. Um, they're just everywhere. People are integrating technology into their day-to-day -day lives more than ever. Uh, we do internet browsing, we use search engines, we do social networking like Facebook and dating sites, we shop online, and we pay our bills online. The new and modern world that we live in today is all about communication, connectivity, and surveillance. One poll stated that 87% of adults say they use the internet at least occasionally.
Thermal imaging has also been known to be used to track people within their homes and other locations, but it was recently found to be a gross invasion of privacy and is illegal to use on citizens. Another cause for the increase in surveillance is the September 11th terrorist attacks. The Patriot Act immediately followed, making it much easier for the government to access and obtain your personal information. There is more government intrusion in our lives post 9-11. Air travel regulations are more restricted and under more scrutiny, looking through personal effects and doing full body searches. And now while these are obvious violations, we have the less obvious violations, um, such as the form of privacy violations, uh, which are phone and internet activity that has been subject to increased surveillance. Post 9-11, the FBI increased its intelligence capacity by increasing spy agencies, spy agencies, programs, and employees. The National Intelligence Program has grown over 100% since 2004. So how do people feel about this? People have used social media and cell phones without this being a real concern, but this is really beginning to change for many. The trust and confidence that Americans have for their government is declining. A solid majority of those surveys said that they are more concerned than comfortable about the amount of information about them that can be collected and used. Overall, many people seem quite anxious about this brave new world of connectivity and surveillance that we are embarking on. Studies have shown that the younger generation actually is overall far less concerned by the growing changes regarding technology, connectivity, privacy, and its implications than the elder generations are. There were also some cases like expanded use of surveillance cameras where the survey showed that most Americans were not opposed to sacrificing privacy in order to advance other goals such as tightening security and the belief that a wide variety of institutions, including government, business, internet, and cell phone providers, financial, financial institutions, social media sites, and the media are collecting a broad array of information that individuals would rather keep secret, from cell phone and financial records to medical and shopping histories, this transcends, transcends almost to all gen generational and demographical lines. The general public has been outraged about the prison program and this violation of privacy. Many also feel this directly contradicts our Fourth Amendment as it is spying, retrieving, and saving data on non-target individuals with no rhyme or reason. One problem here lies with those who are not comfortable putting all of their information out there because it is becoming harder and harder for people to actually get the services that they want or need without divulging a lot of this personal information. So overall, there is no denying that Americans are being spied on by their government. Perhaps the next time that you, that you use the internet for, well, virtually anything, or the next time that you're sending a text or making a phone call, Maybe you will think back to this and have a slightly different feeling about the elusive privacy we as Americans really have. So what do you think? Is all this surveillance just a brazen violation of privacy or is it just one of those necessary evils? Spy on everyone in order to ca catch the real terrorists. Well, that's for you to decide. While there are those that do feel that these spying tactics are necessary, or those that respond with the classic, well, I have nothing to hide, so what do I care if anybody gets a hold of my personal information? There are also many others who are absolutely outraged by the surveillance, the spying, and the overall death of our privacy, and essentially our rights. So which side are you on? Thank you for listening, and I hope that you learned something that you didn't already know.